we always knew that Hollywood weirdos were absolute leftists and would ignore anything anybody right of communism would say to their own detriment. Better Call Saul's actor Bob Odenkirk admits to suffering a heart attack after ignoring the vice of his doctor because of his political leanings, calls him a conservative jackass and says he was right. That seems to be a running theme over the last couple of years. I'm not going to listen to you because you're conservative. A little further down the line, oh shit, you were right. So we're going to be going over this article, how the weirdo Hollywoods won't listen to anybody who's conservative to their own detriment. But before we get there, guys, make sure you drop me a like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this video out. And of course, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Now let's get into this uh, incredible story about how he gave himself a heart attack because he didn't want to listen to a conservative doctor. Bob Odenkirk, best known for his role as Saul Goodman in Breaking Bad and respective spin-off series Better Call Saul, recently admitted that he suffered a heart attack after ignoring the advice of his doctor because of his political leanings. In a recent appearance on Tig Notaro's Don't Ask Tig podcast, the actor weighed in on one of the listeners' questions that asked whether she should trust her doctors whose political views differ from her own, asserting you've got to be careful. This is not unlike you can trust the art or the artist, Odenkirk posited, adding, you know, in this case, he's a doctor. He may be very good at being a doctor. And then as a person, he's a crank. But, but that doesn't mean he's not a great doctor, he went on. I don't think we have to separate those things before he recalled a particular anecdote that led to the Better Call Saul suffering a heart attack. I'm going to tell you something very personal and true. My doctor was a conservative. He got crankier and crankier the older he got. When I was 50, I went in. He was a heart doctor at Cedar sinai and he had signs up all around the office at this point. We do not accept Obamacare. Yeah, fuck that shit. That fucked up a lot of things. And I fucking hated this side of him that I only learned over time. Odenkirk continued. So I had been with him 20 years and he said, you need to start taking statins now. Well, I don't know. I don't have heart disease in my family. He goes, just take them. And I didn't listen to him. And I went to another doctor and had more thorough research done on my heart. And that other doctor said, you don't need medicine yet. And I had a heart attack. The nobody star admitted adding, and the other doctor was right. The cranky conservative jackass was right because he was a goddamn good doctor. The Breaking Bad actor elaborated. His political point of view didn't have anything to do with his ability to judge your health and your health choices and needs. And I've always felt that way about art too. If somebody makes a great movie and then they have a really horrible personal behavior choice that we all learn about, the movie can still be a great movie. I wonder if he'd say the same thing about Russell Brand. In July of 2021, Odenkirk was hospitalized after suddenly collapsing on the set of Better Call Saul. We can confirm Bob is in stable condition after experiencing a heart-related incident. He and his family would like to express the gratitude for the incredible doctors and nurses looking after him, as well as his cast, crew, and producers who have stayed by his side. The Odenkirks would also like to thank everyone for the outpouring of well wishes and ask for their privacy at the time Bob was his recovery. Okay, I don't care about the statement so much. Interestingly, the actor had previously made allusions to this particular story over a year after he collapsed on the set of Better Call Saul. In an interview with The Guardian, Odenkirk mentioned that his doctor, without revealing what his political affiliation was, told him in 2018 to start taking medication to prevent coronary heart disease. The actor instead opted to follow the other doctor's advice because he believed he had done more thorough research. Oh, I'm probably going to get in trouble for this next part. I've got nothing against medicine. I'm fully jabbed. Ogun Odenkirk told the outlet, adding, he'd done more thorough job of testing. Did you, though? Because it sounds like you're going to doctors that align with your views instead of ones that are saying, hey, you should probably think about this a little bit longer. Or, hey, you should probably not do that. But, I mean, he says it right there at the end. I've got nothing against medicine. I'm fully jabbed. He took all the pills the leftist doctor said he took. He took all the needles for the science. And how did that work out for him? Oh, how do I say this without getting yeeted off YouTube? YouTube yeeted a lot of doctors because they didn't politically align with YouTube. A lot of doctors got fired because they didn't align politically with what uh, 
the mega billion dollar corporations were trying to tell us about medicine. You know, for years, these weirdos we used to call Big Pharma a terrible thing. But now they're all for it, practically wearing it on their suits for advertisement. Well, I take that back. They are actually doing that. But anywho, I think you get my point on this one. These weirdos do not care about anything other than the ideology. They really are cultists. And it's a big cult. I think that's a problem. But I mean, I guess you can see in the story, hey, this doctor was a conservative and he told me I should not do something or I should do something to save my health. Fuck off, you right-wing nut job. Oh shit, he was right. But that's it with these weirdos. Bend the knee or uh, we want you not breathing anymore. The only problem is their ideology is the one that leads to them not breathing anymore. So guys, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Do you think this is uh, karma sorting itself out or at least attempting to? Because I think he's a damn good actor, but oh my god, dude. Figure your shit out. Pull your head out of your ass. Anyway, put your thoughts in the comment section. While you're there, make sure you drop me a like. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you share this video out. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. But until then, be easy, like, sleazy.